We got a victorious Chris Gutierrez back here on the program. He's coming off a huge win this past Friday at LFA 52 over Ray Rodriguez. Chris, how are you, man? I'm good, man. I'm just uh, healing up a little bit, but other than that, it's all good. Was this the most satisfying win of your career? You went out there, you get a submission victory over a really tough guy in Ray Rodriguez. Um, as far as like the most satisfying, I mean, every win you get is very satisfying. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it, it was, you know, it was, a, it was a, it was a big fight. It was a, you know, bragging rights, whatever you want to call it. But it was, you know, he was the number one. We were the top prospects in in our weight class in Texas, and and so. It, you know, it, it definitely was a big win, especially over a, a dangerous opponent in Ray. Were you expecting the fight to end that quickly? Because, you know, we talked in the pre-fight interview. You said, you know, the plan was to break him. But, I mean, you ended up getting a win in the first round. Right. Well, you know, in, in all his interviews, he was saying that he was going to knock me out and that uh, he was just going to be too aggressive. He was going to be in my face. And, you know, I, I knew to a point, you know, it was true. He was going to try to pressure, but, I, you know, I didn't think he was just going to fold that quick, you know. Uh, I'm a complete different fighter than than what all my other videos show on YouTube or whatever because, you know, now with this new gym at Factory X that I'm at, it's just they've – I still do the things that I do really good, but we've worked on some, 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 some more basic things that allow me to do more – to be more open when I fight, you know what I mean? So I'm allowed to take risks. Because, uh, you know, things we worked on and I'm comfortable wherever. And as you can see, uh, and, and as a pro, I haven't shown my ground and I showed you against a black belt. So it, how, it worked pretty good. I was going to say, how do you celebrate after a win like that? Uh, first round finish. I mean, you don't get paid by the hour. Um, you know, it seems like you didn't get too many bumps and bruises. Did, did you go out at all or what did the post fight celebrations look like? No, I mean, we went we went to this little uh, it was like a little uh I forgot what the name of it. It was a little like, uh, you know, uh, South American uh, little place we went to. and had music and food and stuff like that. So we just went and it's mainly just the team and family mm -hmm. and friends. And, you know, that's I don't really do after parties and all that. Nah, and, they're uh, overrated. Plus, you're tired yeah, anyways. You just want to go home, eat some good yeah, food, I just, right? I just want to go home, you know. And, you know, the Kimura I got put in, you know, it it, it was in it was in pretty tight. And uh, But, you know, I managed to work through it. So my shoulder's a little... A little hurt, but other than that, man, I, I feel good, and I'm I'm just ready to rock now. Speaking of uh, you know bumps and bruises and everything, recovery is always a big uh, important part after a fight like this. Um, I, I know it was quick, but you still you always have bumps and bruises. Uh, what what are you using for recovery right now, as far as uh, you know healing up and and trying to get back in there? Oh, definitely, you know, Turp House CBD oil. That's that's uh, man. Since I moved here, you know, it's want to see what the hype was all about and. You know, I used to be all against it, but you know, I had a friend and 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 Derek Brennan who kind of got me into it, and uh, started talking to me about Turp House and and all the benefits about it, and I started doing it. And since since I've been do, you know taking CBD uh, oil with Turp House, I've been recovering better, been feeling a lot better. So yeah, that's definitely one of the key things. Also, eating, and you know, just being able to eat the foods that you like right now, that's a big recovery for me. Uh, you know, it makes you feel good. That's excellent. Uh, what, what's been the feedback from LFA after that win? This was the main event. A lot of eyeballs were on this fight, man. And, uh, you know, like I said, you went out there and, and couldn't have, you know, put on a great performance. I mean, I honestly, I honestly feel that I'm, I'm, you know, not, you know, not being cocky or nothing, but I, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm ready for the big show, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, if, if they wanted me to fight for the belt, you know, I'd I'd take the winner out of Miles Johns or or what's it, Adrian Yanez, something like that. Yeah, I I personally think I would starch both of them. You know, that's just my my honest opinion. Um, you know, they're both good at what they do, but I don't know, not nothing nothing too impressive. You know, it's just Miles Johns, just a little juggernaut that likes to come forward again, and his pressure would be his downfall, and Adrian. Seems like he wants to stand and bang a little bit, but I just feel like I possess a little bit more power than he does, and I would touch him on the chin one time, and I'm sure he would turn into a wrestler. Um, but no, I mean, I, we haven't really heard anything back. Uh, I just hopefully I get a, a big phone call.
Yeah, for sure. Yeah, how do you approach that though? Because you're coming off a big win in a main event. Um, you know, like you said, the the LFA title's tied up. Plus, there's that fight between Rafion Stotts and uh, Levi Moles as well. So it's kind of tough to see who will get that shot. You made a strong really? case. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Did you did you see that fight that's coming up? Yeah. With with uh with Ru- what's his name? Raf- Rafion Stotts. Yeah, the Rufus Sports yeah. guy is taking on Levi Moles uh, at bantamweight as well. So so there's a lot of uh, I mean oh, th- th- there's man. yeah there, there's a whole uh, list of bantamweights coming up. But like I said, I mean you're the guy who got the win first. You, you were impressive. You took out a guy in Ray Rodriguez. Like how do you approach that going forward? Because holiday season's coming up. I'm sure you want to eat some food, but there might be a call up in the UFC. You never know, right? Oh oh, of course, of course. You know, just to get out the way. You know, me and Levi, we're we're former teammates. You know, and in the start that's pretty cool you know that he's he's getting on he's you know he's getting ready to take on you know he i think he's gonna obliterate uh you know starts. Starts. okay yeah i just think he is you know that's that's former teammate i love the guy um but to answer your question about you know if i get a phone call within thanksgiving or christmas i'm a professional and this is what we do if i get a phone call i'll cut the weight and uh i'll celebrate after my christmas or my thanksgiving will be after the fight either right. way you know, I'm not going to miss an opportunity just because, oh, I want to celebrate Thanksgiving. You know, my family knows, they understand, you know, that, you know, I want to spend time with them. But if I get a big phone call, this is what we've been doing for, you know, this is what we what we do. We've been doing this for 19 years. So if I, if I get the phone call, I'm not going to miss it. Well, another interesting thing I don't know if you're aware of, Ricky Simone is without an opponent right now. He's um, he's fighting on uh, that, that Denver card coming up here, which, you know, in your backyard, um, he was supposed to be fighting, uh, who was it? Um, uh, 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 Ricardo Ramos. So he, I don't think yeah, at, yeah. at the time we're recording this, he doesn't have an opponent. That could be an option too. We know Mick Maynard likes signing LFA guys. Well, I mean, that's I think that's kind of in the talks right now too. Uh, just have to see what, what um, you know, what, like I said, if I get if I get the phone call, I get the phone call. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm just I gotta do my part as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, for sure. Uh, and and we're gonna end things there. Uh, as far as uh, you know, talking about weight cut. What was the first cheat meal you had after the fight? Because I know you were dieting leading up to there. What did you get to enjoy after the fight? Oh, I mean, uh, we went to that little restaurant. I was uh, where where we did the after party. But after weigh-ins, we went, and it's just you know uh, South American food that you know from from where my parents and where my parents are from. So it's, um, it's, it's very delicious. Like plantain, sweet plantains, uh, I mean, uh, beans and arepas, you know, it's different. It's very good. You know, I don't know if you've ever tasted it. Una arepa. No, I haven't. It sounds delicious though. I'll take your word for it. You'd probably know better, uh, you know, better than, than someone like myself, <laughs> a lonely Canadian up here. So, uh, yeah, no, that, that sounds go. awesome. I like trying any type of food. So, I mean, you, you could have said anything and I probably would have been uh, all over it or whatever. So, uh, so that's no, that. It's definitely amazing. You should try it out. I'll check that out. We certainly got to check out your next fight again, Chris, congratulations on the win. I uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media. And I know you have some sponsors. So if you want to plug that as well, the floor is yours. Uh, you know, on, on Twitter, you can find me at, you know, Chris El Guapo Gutierrez. Uh, same thing on Facebook, uh, Chris Gutierrez. Uh, on Instagram, it's El Guapo MMA underscore in between, you know, L and MMA. Uh, sponsors, I want to thank MB2 Dental Solutions. Thank you guys for coming on. Uh, Denver Chiropractor LLC with Dr. Trent, Landau Performance, Turp House, my manager, Jim Walter. Yeah. Uh, my gym, Factory X, and uh, Scott Cornaz, attorney at law uh, in Greenville, Texas. Thank you, guys, man.